Good afternoon, robotics and coding students. This is uh, part two of the animal race video. And uh, for you, it may only be a couple of minutes uh, since you last started watching this. Uh, for me, it was about a week ago that I produced the first half. So uh, I'm just going to kind of take a moment and refresh everybody where we're at. We are just setting up the initial kind of look and feel for this particular program. You'll recall that it's a race between the bat and the dog from their starting point. For the bat, that's an arrow. For the dog, that's the X. And they are racing to a balloon that's directly across from them. From them. The cat will uh, start them off by saying go. So in this particular race, or uh, in this particular program, pardon me, uh, we have to add a little bit of uh, more programming to the cat. So we will do that uh, just by adding to what we have over here already. Uh, we're going to broadcast a message when we do this. And Produce a new message and we will give it a message name and we'll call it start race again much like we did uh, much like we do for variables when we created a variable called count in this race uh, or in this program pardon me uh, we want to name things just makes it easier for organization purposes do you actually have to do it no if you can remember what all of the uh, what message one is or uh, you know what the variable is if you just put like one or two, yeah, you can you can probably get away with it, uh, but it just makes it so much easier to remember. So I would suggest that you always do that. So as soon as uh, so the cat's going to send out a uh, uh, that message, and each racer is going to need a script to make it react. So we're going to select the dog first and add the following script. Uh, the script will um, uh, the script will allow the animal, in this case the dog, to move. And what I want you to pay attention to is I want you to see how the two wait until blocks together. Make the player press the M key and then release it again and again to move their character. Just keeping your finger on the M key won't work. Okay, so what we want to do is we've got the dog selected. We are going to add some programming. So uh, when I receive start race, so remember the cat sends that message out. It's called broadcasting. It sends out this message, start race. And it's kind of like the dog hears it. He hears start race. Uh, what we actually see in the program is the cat says go. That go doesn't mean anything. He could be saying uh, left, right, up, down, uh, absolutely anything in there, but he broadcasts this start race command. So the dog will start the race. We are going to start with a forever loop. Again, really, really uh, important loop. And inside of that, we're going to, there's wait until. We're going to put two of those in. Okay, and now we need to put something in there. So we're going to go to the sensing, and this is the, uh, these blocks, a lot of these blocks attach to other commands. So uh, the key pressed one, so we're going to throw that in the top, and we're going to say the M key. And uh, just looking at uh, a little bit later on, uh, when we do the bat, the bat's going to be the Z key. So what they're trying to do is keep away uh, those two players so that they're not super close to each other as they're pressing the respective keys. So when pre wait until the key M is pressed. Okay. And uh, so that's kind of like the start. And then there's something pretty cool here. This is called an operator. We're actually going to use not. So wait until not 
the M key is pressed. So if you want to just think about that, what's happening is the player presses the M key. Nothing happens. It's kind of like this little trigger, though, that allows the next command to happen. Wait until the M key is not pressed. So let go of it and something happens. In this case, what happens is we use a motion command, move 10 steps. So that will cause the script to move to the right 10 steps. And we'll actually switch the icon, or sorry, pardon me, the costume. We're going to switch the costume to the next costume. So we only have two. So this will switch it to the next one. It will then go back into the loop, wait for the M key to be pressed again, wait for it to no longer be pressed, and then move 10 steps, and that will just continue. And that will move the dog along towards his balloon color. <clears throat> so that could continue forever and ever. And as I just mentioned, what happens when he touches his balloon? Well, that's what we have to program in now. So if we put in an if command here, now this if command will always be looked at, but what we're going to do here is if touching, and what is it? Uh, it is a dog finish. So if touching dog finish, then something needs to happen. And it's actually going to be from the control command stop all. So that will stop all of the programs uh, and essentially end the program. So we'll do this exact same thing with the bat. But just before doing that, I just want to talk a little bit about this not command, just a little bit more. <laughs> so the not block reverses the answer to the question block inside it. This block is very useful for testing if something isn't happening. There are three green operator blocks that can change answers to yes slash no questions or true slash false statements in useful ways. Not, or, and, and. Programmers call these Boolean operators, and you'll use all of them as we continue through this programming. Okay, so sometimes you want to know if something is, like, is the key being pressed, or uh, is the mouse touching a certain spot, or is a character uh, sprite perhaps touching a line? I've seen certain programs where students will create a kind of like a maze where you don't want the character or a sprite to touch the lines on the outside, kind of like a, a wall. If they touch the wall, the game uh, might end, or the game uh, maybe it causes the uh, the character to slow down, so much like in real life. So if you're touching a certain thing, there's another action. Well, in this case, it's like not something happening. So when it's not the key being pressed, we're going to move 10 steps. But those two weights together, it's like it's got to be pressed, then not pressed before it happens, which is really quite cool. <clears throat> So we're going to run this once just to kind of see what happens. Move my cat a little bit. Uh, eventually, this will be a good spot for him. Uh, but right now, it's not the best. But we'll just put him there for now. We'll run this program. We'll see that both the bat and the dog go to the right spot. I'm going to start to hit the M key. And you can see that the dog is running. The faster I press it, the faster the dog will run. And you can see it switched there right as he touched it, uh, as soon as he touched that yellow it caused the uh, the program to stop. Okay, so we know that that's working. Uh, if it's not working, go back, watch the video, look to see where there might be an error in your programming. We will now complete the programming for our bat. Uh, just before I do that though, um, I just wanted to change uh, this pink balloon here. Uh, just the name of it. Uh, I noticed that I didn't do that before. So this is going to be the bat finish. Uh, so I just want to put that in. And I also noticed I didn't actually name this file. So 
we will call it assignment number three, animal race. There you go. Uh, it's important to do that. I mean, it would, would, could be saved, but uh, and it would certainly be findable based on the image, but a little bit easier here. Nice to keep things looking good uh, so that we can do this. Now, I'm going to try something here, and I'm hoping that it works, but I really want to just duplicate this, and I hope this works. Uh, and so, yeah, luckily that worked. So now I've got uh, exactly the same thing here. Got to change a few minor things. So just to quickly show you what I did, just went to duplicate and it copied everything and then put it over top of the script that I wanted it to be. So that worked out quite well. So a few things I need to change here though. We're not going to be pressing the M key this time. We are going to be pressing uh, the Z key. And we just got to make try to make that work. Um, I wasn't quite able to see the whole all the letters available. So we'll move it up a little higher. And again, it's not showing them to me. So I'm just going to pick a different letter. We're going to pick A because it's near the Z. So you can just make it the A. And then uh, we just need to change it to not dog finish, but bat finish. There we go. And this will now work. So now I'm going to try to race the sprites. You might find that one sprite wins more easily because a wing or a nose sticks out. You can drag the start and finish sprites around a little bit to even that up. So just to make it so they're a little bit better. I tried to do it so that they were in certain spots. So I'm hoping that the distance is the same. Uh, but that's to the center of all of these particular objects. So depending on how wide the character is, it may actually impact it. But let's give this a shot. So I'll be using uh, two things here, waiting for that cat to go. And now I'm going here. It looks like the dog's going to win. And the dog wins. So uh, not too sure if you can hear this, but I'm hitting the keys. Nothing's happening. Uh, that's because the program has stopped. So uh, there is the program. Uh, I will include in the assignment sheet uh, what we call hacks and tweaks. So th some things you can adjust to uh, make it a little bit different, a little bit better. Uh, one of the things that I might suggest is trying to uh, trying to make up some sort of uh, make up some sort of scoreboard at the end. So it might say who won that sort of thing. So uh, keep listening. Uh, or sorry, not keep listening because we're done here, but uh, watch that assignment sheet and I will certainly help you guys to uh, certainly help you uh, if you have any issues in class or have any questions or if you're trying to do something uh, a little bit more difficult, uh, certainly try to help you with that. Good luck and I hope you enjoyed the video.